to discuss China and the case of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou, building on a conversation that Secretary Pompeo and I began soon after her arrest. Minister of Foreign Affairs Christopher Freeland speaking in Washington today alongside U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo after holding talks that were scheduled before a top Chinese exec, Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou, was detained in Vancouver two weeks ago. But her arrest at the request of the U.S. on suspicion of breaking sanctions with Iran, along with mounting diplomatic tensions, were in sharp focus today. The most important thing we can do is to uphold the rule of law, ensure that uh, Ms. Ming's right to due process is respected, and that the current judicial process in Canada remains apolitical. As for the two Canadians detained this week in China, Freeland confirms Canadian diplomats have been granted access to one of the men, Michael Kovrig. Canada still pushing for access to the other Canadian, Michael Spavor. Chinese authorities detained the two on suspicion of engaging in activities that endanger the national security of China. Pompeo today offering support to Canada. Uh, the unlawful detention of two Canadian citizens is unacceptable. They, they ought to be returned. Um, the, the United States has stood for that, whether they're our citizens or citizens of other countries. We, we, we ask all nations of the world to treat other citizens properly, and the detention of these two Canadian citizens in China uh, ought to end. But the message from the U.S., in particular about Hmong, is being complicated by Donald Trump. Earlier this week, the U.S. president said he would intervene in the arrest of Huawei CFO if it would help him secure a trade deal with China. Today, Trump tweeting about China, posting in part, they have just suspended U.S. tariff hikes. U.S. is doing very well. China wants to make a big and very comprehensive deal. It could happen, and rather soon. A firm message from Justin Trudeau this morning when the prime minister was asked about the two detained Canadians during an interview on breakfast television this morning. China is reacting uh, to, uh, to the arrest of one of their citizens, uh, but we are uh, being absolutely clear on uh, standing up for our citizens who have been detained, uh, trying to figure out why, trying to work with China to demonstrate that this is uh, not acceptable. Another follow today, a last-minute cancellation. Minister of Tourism Melanie Jolie announced she has postponed plans to visit China next week for an official event marking a year of tourism between Canada and China. Chinese officials said to have agreed to the decision as well. And amid tensions between the two countries and calls in China to boycott Canada Goose, that company now delaying the opening of its new flagship store in Beijing. The new store, by the way, was scheduled to open tomorrow. Canada Goose pointing to construction reasons for the delay, but there were protests planned for the event. No date yet on when the flagship in Beijing will open.